Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video, I hope you're doing very well. So today I'm here to do quite a chilled and just a laid back video because it's the weekend, yay! Um, I've had a very busy week and I just really wanted to do a kind of casual makeup look today. When I mean casual, I mean kind of still nice, like dark and mysterious, which is what I like to do at <laughs> this time of the year. But um film and just have a chat with you guys as well because I filmed this on Friday because I film basically the day before that I upload a video because I have to upload my video overnight because my internet is rubbish so um yeah today is just like a little chill session I'm gonna be using the after dark palette again because I love it so and I have a new lip product that I'm, I'm very excited to try um and I have some eyelashes, oh my god look at me, um, from Doll Beauty and I'll be talking about these in just like a moment because I've had some problems, not with them but with the post office and my brain has just been a mess all week but let's get into just some more of the makeup so I'm going to be starting off with the e.l.f. Putty Primer, this is one that I use all the time, um, it's just super nice on my skin, it's so softening um, and I always use my spectrum brush because I always, um, yeah, whenever I use um, any type of product now, I just use a brush because I'm not really into the whole using my hands. <laughs> the only time I would ever kind of use um, like my hand as a tool is if I'm using um, like a glitter shimmer on my eyes. But that's about it because our hands are very dirty i'm not saying your hands specifically are dirty for your own face but it's still um yeah there's a lot of dirt that you kind of pick up and touch all day without even noticing but this is not a video on how to clean your hands or how to put on makeup it's just a little kind of chit chat but yeah it's currently friday for me and it's saturday hopefully when you're watching hopefully it uploads perfectly fine which shouldn't see why um but yeah i've had a very busy week like i mentioned i've been working monday to friday and it is now a second lockdown because um the uk are just shit at everything <laughs> basically and i had to go and see my mum the other day as a kind of see you next lo after lockdown and i was just kind of really kind of frustrated about it because i We'll be celebrating my birthday in about a week and a bit actually 10 days in 10 days on the 16th it will be my birthday and i booked off some time which i do anyway um to kind of go and do things and i know i shouldn't be like oh well they can't just look you know not have lockdown because it's your birthday i'm like that's not really what i'm going to be getting at but the thing is like obviously you want a bit of normality when it's your day of birth like i love my birthday every year i like like to see my friends we like to go and have a few drinks and just chill out um and just kind of do what people do on their birthdays which is have a nice time and see people that you care about and all that other rubbish but obviously this year um well not this year but like this month um can't do that because it's a second lockdown and i know where is it tier three tier four are we baking up shit as we go along? Probably. Um, I'm just going to add a bit more foundation because as much as it's good coverage, I couldn't be bothered to get out a concealer. So I'm just going to add a bit more for coverage. Um, yeah, I'm not going anywhere today. I just wanted to like put on some makeup because I'm going to be just watching the telly, having our Friday night, chilling out to maybe some Twitch streamers and other stuff as well um but yeah I'll, I'll be basically next week i'll be filming for most of the week because i'll be on leave so i'll be <laughs> doing some other stuff while trying to keep busy at home um but another reason i've been kind of stressed out this week is the post office have just been really pissing me off so it first started actually when <laughs> let me tell you of a tale um it first started when i ordered some things from Doll Beauty and on their website they had um, like a bundle deal which was amazing because you got um, five, four to five products for £10 and I've never bought any of their products before but I've always wanted to kind of get into using eyelashes a bit more because I feel that 
you know sometimes if you want to do a dramatic look um eyelashes will always just make it look a bit more out there so with the deal you would basically get like two sets of lashes or um a lipstick or whatever so when i <laughs> when i got my stuff in the post um because i live in a flat we um have our post box on the outside and it's kind of like divided for all the places basically just a normal post box when you live in a flat so that's about it um and what had happened was the postman had decided that he didn't want to even bother knocking on my door or anything he took out the products from my packaging and just stuffed it through my letterbox <laughs> and yeah i ended up having quite damaged products and I was extremely annoyed because even on the same day, um, it must have been the same delivery, I got a package for my for a hat and there was no problem with that whatsoever. Um, so I know that there are gate, there's a gate to get to our flat door essentially, but <laughs> mate, that's like it's such a terrible thing to do. Um, so what happened? Why was I going? I was going to the post office for something else. Oh, yes. Because when I was trying, when I was waiting for my Makeup Revolution um, Disney Princess collection, they were supposed to deliver on Saturday. I stayed the whole day at home. This was like obviously last Saturday. Um, and I was planning to like go out and see my mum and because of everything. Um, and I waited the whole day, no delivery. Um, and then Sunday, I went to the post office and I was like, I want to make a complaint. I'm, I'm not like trying to be a Karen or anything. I literally was just so pissed off because the first time this whole stuff was happening, um, I just said to them, look, this is just not acceptable. And I've been waiting the whole day on Sunday, or sorry, on Saturday for my stuff to arrive. And it says it was coming and there's been no dispatch, anything. There's like, there was nothing. There was an email. And then on the same day, you get a text message say, oh, your product will be delivered by 3 p.m. today. And I was like, okay, I'm at home. I'm chilling and absolutely nothing. And this was actually Halloween. So I was just like chilling at home and relaxing, kind of. I was not relaxing because I was waiting for my package to arrive. Um, and then, yeah, they were just like, oh yeah, you can send a complaint. And I'm like, well, drivers do not understand that, or who, I mean, not even just drivers, but like postmen don't really understand the fact that people don't want their packaging outside of the normal packaging. Because I didn't have my receipt. I didn't have the envelope that it came in. It literally turned up in my post box, just like shoved in. Um, and yeah, I was <laughs> very annoyed. And then yesterday, um, I waited at home the whole, well, I was working all day as well, but my husband had ordered me um, my birthday gift to turn up just a bit early, so it guaranteed to come, and he paid like over £10 for the postage to come the next day, and it was like, oh yeah, this is going to come between, I think he said like four o'clock, so I finished at five, and there was nothing, and I was literally waiting the whole day, and I even got um, stuff like delivered by hand like in the morning so i don't think it was even the same driver obviously um <clears throat> and literally as i looked in my letterbox there was a card that said oh we couldn't deliver your item today because it was too big and i was like you can ring my doorbell like literally there is a doorbell that you know <laughs> ring up to my door and i can get my package i can just let you in and then you can give me my box and i don't have to have this problem um, so of course, I <laughs> I was so angry. I literally got all my stuff together. I got ready because obviously when I'm working from home, I kind of just wear my normal clothes. I don't have to like be anything. Um, so I literally put my shoes on, put my jacket on, and then I just stormed out of the house. And I was like, I'm gonna come and get my package now. I was like messaging my husband saying I'm really pissed off. Blah 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 blah. And when I got there. I'm sorry this story is going on forever but it's just so frustrating um when i got to the post office the woman was like super nice she was so nice she was like make a complaint because the people who are doing these deliveries now are just taking the piss and i was like yes i'm not happy <laughs> but i managed to get my box 
bring it home i'm not allowed to open it well i'm not going to open it until my birthday i know what it is but i just rather open it on my birthday because it's a gift but anyway post office stop being shit basically um i'm gonna go in with the after dark palette now um and yeah i'm just gonna go for a green look today because I, I really like the looks of the green palette um so i'm going in with the shade ink which is just here um so yeah that was just like a week and a half of just the post office just really pissing me off um but you know this doesn't happen all the time like the post office they are doing a great job during covid and you know it's a very tough job to do but surely you're doing more work by not um <laughs> getting the products to you know the people who are waiting and i'm the kind of person who can't calm down and i'm really anxious until i get the product in my hand because obviously you know it's coming and it should be arriving that day and at that time and i was just sitting like just looking out my window every so often and I'm like, why is it not turned up? And I didn't realise it was the post office. And I was just like, if it was DPD or even Hermes, like they, they can be super shit most times. But at least they kind of sometimes make an effort to contact you and say, oh, you're not home. Or let me ring your phone number that was on the, on the, on the bill or whatever. Uh, but post office, they don't even freaking bother. And it is just... Yeah, it's frustrating because I why am I leaving the house during COVID and getting on the bus to go and get my package when you couldn't even be bothered? Anyway, stop stop ranting. I'm gonna stop ranting. Um I'm still going in with the shade ink and it is so pigmented, it is super gorgeous. I know I'm not doing a very good job with <laughs> like applying it, but it's um it's not looking too bad. And then let's go in with After Hours, which is just here. And I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to, it's a nice shimmer. So let's see if it works with a brush. If not, I'm going to use my finger. Can't really see. It's a bit of a dark. Uh, it's actually very dark in my room um i've got the lights on and obviously you can see me but i can't see this on here okay it's coming up i'm really sorry about the lighting because it's i can only film when it's like after five o'clock and it is just dark outside um because it's winter surprise surprise uh but at the weekends, I actually get to film whichever time I can. Sorry, just getting a phone call, which I'm going to ignore. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, like, my weekend videos, you actually see <laughs> the video a bit better because it's, it's normal lighting outside and I can just use that. Um, but so far, this shimmer is gorgeous. It's just very difficult to see over that green because that green is so dark. Um let me put on an, a lighter shade so i'm going to go in with the shade wicked which is just here and it's a lighter one so i might try and put it on top to see if it makes a difference yeah that's super light so okay that's definitely better you'll be able to see that a bit more um in real life not on the video sorry <laughs> yeah this is super nice i love i'm really glad i bought this palette i've been thinking about it when i saw it online and i like i mentioned so many times i really like um makeup obsession um because they're obviously part of revolution but they're quite a nice brand by themselves to be honest just neatening it up and what i'm gonna do off camera of course because i'm not gonna embarrass myself putting on lashes um I'm going to put on some lashes and I'm going to do my lower lash line and I'll be right back to do the lips. Okay, so I'm back with, wow, these lashes and they did take a long time to put on because I, again, don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, but I used the dull lashes and make them stare 
and these are gorgeous like huge last year's last year's <laughs> last year's um and i don't know if it's because of the glue i use it's a bit bit meh but um i need to buy some new lash glue i mean obviously i can't really go and get proper ones right now because of stuff happening but if i go out to superdrug or anything um i'll get some new lash glue but this work these are looking really good um again i can, i know that there's probably they're not perfect but i'm trying I'm trying my best um and then lastly we're going to go in with the lips and this is um a lipstick by a brand called killstar and in the uk uh, and I think I know in the US as well, Killstar are a clothing line. So they've just come out with some lipsticks and it's called like the Coven set. And I've got the shade Eternal and I bought this um, because Killstar had a sale on the other day. And I bought a ring as well, which I wore in yesterday's video, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, this is the shade Eternal and it's a nice dark kind of brownie purple. It probably won't go with this look, but we're going to put it on anyway because I really want to try it and I'm really excited to use it so it's got a nice little applicator let's go oh it smells nice okay and we have a nice selection of colors as well uh, but I thought let's try this one because I wanted to see how well it worked basically Okay, it's going to neaten up the art. <laughs> so I'm really taking my time being really careful. Okay, that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do, but on first impressions it feels really nice you do have to do maybe like a second coat because when you first put it on it's a little bit um it's not patchy or really streaky it just doesn't really have that full coverage but when it dries down quite quickly um it does feel quite nice and they have a nice like i mentioned they have a nice selection online uh they have like a black and they have kind of like a light pinkish red and a couple of nudes but i wanted to go for this shade because it's me but yeah this is my finished look of just a chill get ready with me on a weekend but thank you so much for watching thank you for putting up with my video if you managed to get this far um don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to when i'm in the mood which is quite a lot these days because i haven't got much going on <laughs> but um yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys